Zambra is the result of a group of people who had the purity of purpose, who had the persistence, and most of all, who had the patients in the rural area where the disease is highly prevalent in mind. Tens of millions of people are infected with HIV, and they're on drugs. And we need to know whether they are resistant to the drug or not. Most of the complicated DNA testing in the developing world is really force-fitting Western technologies into a setting where they can not use it very appropriately. In fact, you need to simplify the technology to deal with dust, humidity, high temperature, this is hardly ever done for developing countries because there's no money. And this is where a group of us left industry to develop specifically the technology for developing countries. We started off with Samba 1, which is now being used in Malawi and in Uganda. But Samba 1 still requires two or three manual step. So we then simplified even further. It is really sample in, results out, completely automated. If you know how to cook, you can certainly do samba. You basically take the cartridges and everything you need is already there. You cannot put it wrong because everything is a very unique shape. So we also simplified the detection of nucleic acid or DNA by making the detection almost like a pregnancy test so that it's visual. And so two lines, it means it's positive. One line is negative. The machine itself also has a camera which then reads the results automatically. There were a lot of challenges. I think we failed almost every week, if not every day, but we just never gave up. Although Samba 2 is very simple, we do try to use really cutting edge technology in connectivity. So not only are the machines linked to a control unit via Bluetooth, we also have a USB stick that you can download the data. It can also upload to, let's say, the clinic or to the Department of Health so they can have an understanding or of the general epidemiology. SAMBA 2 will be able to reach far more patients than is currently available. The treatment will be far quicker. It's really test and treat on the same visit. It is a decentralization, generalization of a much needed test for better HIV treatment, but also as you treat the patients better, you will also prevent onward transmission. So in general, it's good for the individual, good for the community, and in fact, I think, good for the country.